misleading and false advertisement. We all like to think that we can trust what's being sold and told to us on television and the papers. This product, you know, you should get it's healthy for you. You know, that product, it, it's good for you. We, you know, we like to think that we can trust advertisement. But the fact is, if you look at history, advertisement cannot be trusted. I'll give you a few examples of then and now. In 1940, there were cigarette ads. And one of them said, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. And they had a photo of a doctor smoking a cigarette. Is that nuts or what? In 1950, 7-Up advertised as being so pure and healthy that you could add it to your baby's bottle. Is that crazy? I mean, and then they had a, a photo showing a little baby drinking out of a 7-Up bottle. I cannot believe it. I mean, full of sugar. Who would ever fall for that? course people fall for stuff now it's just you got to just think rationally try to think like what's not natural is probably not good for us so any kind of like man-made products <clears throat> probably are not good in 1950 uh, there was a cola ad that start is it said start cola earlier and had a photo of a little baby being given this cola, Coca-Cola, and they used to put Coke in it. And then the ad also said, how soon is too soon? Not soon enough. That is just evil. That's fucking evil, okay? Oh, man. Giving little babies Coke? Oh, my God. I don't know if they started putting, I think they part started putting Coke and Cola in the 40s or 30s or 20s. I don't remember, but this was in the 50s. Who knows? Just sugar alone is bad enough. Um, well, of course, now they advertise fluoride as good for your babies. So now you go to the store and you see these bottles that says infant water for infants with fluoride added. That's crazy. Why would you have to add fluoride? Um, okay, so here we go. Now, they aver advertise uh, in health food stores, you see this aguave syrup. Well, research has shown now that aguave syrup is pretty much no more healthier than high fructose corn syrup. So that's one. Soy is kind of advertised, you see that in health food stores as well. And studies are shown at linked to malnutrition. Um, cooking with olive oil is not healthy. It, it creates... Um, it goes rancid when it, and it gets heated and, and creates carcinogens when it's heated. So you should just, they say coconut oil is what I use. Uh, Brad's Liquid Aminos, it uh, has MSG and uh, so unfermented soy, which is really bad. Um, it's GMO. And we got Subway trying to advertise as healthy, which is not. It's got processed meats, um, you know, antibiotics, and, um, and, um, all this other crap in it, um, and and six now they uh, well they don't really advertise apples, but I would never eat a non-organic apple because when they spray them, it goes in to the apple itself. I've heard that you can't wash it off, you can't peel it off. The, the poison, the spray that they spray apples with is is pretty much in the apple, and it's one of the most toxic poisons you can put in your body. So probably any apple products either. You want to make sure it's always organic when it comes to apples and different thin skin fruits um, like that, I, I imagine. Okay, so that's it for now. Take care and be safe.